Hey guys, I'm back and I have another Sephora haul for you. So I had some gift cards as gifts, so I decided, you know what, let me use them up before the sale ends. So before we get started, I just want to say hello to everyone. I have a few new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please click that button. I would love to have you. I do videos every week about makeup. Um, I do hauls, um, bags, pretty much anything. I'm just, you know, a girl living life. <laughs> so I just share stuff with you guys. So please hit the like, please leave me a comment. Let's chat and let's get started. So I really need to work on a better intro, but I'm trying my best. So like I said, I went again to Sephora. It's Sunday. There's a big storm here um, on Friday. We got hail. Today, I wanted to run some errands in the morning, but there was another severe weather warning. Uh, we didn't get hail, thank the Lord, but there was like a hail warning. So when everything died down, the alerts went away. I told my husband, let me go to the mall and let's see what else I can pick up. So. I did, um, if you want to see another one, I did a haul a few days ago, so this is my, possibly my last one, I'm not sure, because, before I get started, I have shown you guys this foundation, this is the Mario, Makeup by Mario foundation, I have it on right now. I think it looks really good on camera and in person, it looks pretty good, but I feel like... I put my makeup on on a, a big vanity mirror, but then I also have like my simple human like five times mag magnification and I feel like it kind of goes into my pores. So I might take this one back. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried that foundation and you have no skin. Let me know how you like it. But anyway, let's get started. So I actually was responsible and got a few refills of stuff that I'm running out of. Um, this one kind of hurts to buy because it's like a facial spray, but I feel like it suits my skin. I have rosacea and I have eczema and I feel like I put this on before I put any type of skincare and I feel like it is soothing and I was running low and there was only one left and I said, you know what? That's a sign. I need it. I should pick it up because I'm running low. It's definitely going to finish by the time Sephora has another sale. Um, the next thing I got, okay, I got another one. <laughs> so I smelled this one in store, and I think this is pretty popular, and it smells so good. My husband loved it. I'm considering getting the cream, but I'm trying to talk myself out of it. This one says it smells like black amber plum and vanilla woods, and it's a Sol de Janeiro um, Brazilian crush in Shea Rosa. Shea Rosa 40. They have a bunch of different ones. Um, I just bought the original yellow one in my previous haul. And I really liked it. I like it as a hair mist. Because I love when hair smells good. There's something about a good smelling head of hair. You know what I mean? And then the next uh, powder I got was the Airbrush Flawless Finish. This powder I'm almost out of. And this is what I use. As, this better be the powder that I use. Not that she has a few different ones ah, yes okay so I use this powder I have this in my yes okay so this is the Charlotte Tilbury powder so this is considered a finishing powder it comes in just four shades and what I really like and I have found with my dry skin is for me I need really finely milled powders for them to look good because I have dry skin. So that's why I think I really like Hourglass and um, powders like this because you can't see them. Like for under my eyes, I feel like they've been creasing so much and I tried today, let me grab it to show you guys. I haven't used this in forever and I have a little bit left and I decided to use it today and Oh, I feel like I'm running out of minutes. Am I running out of minutes? And um, I decided to use it. It's the the finely milled, um, it's under eye powder. And I love it. It makes my under eyes look amazing. So I need to keep using it. And then the next thing I got 
to try is the Gucci mascara. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Apparently it won in Allure Beauty. I don't know if, if it's seen in. I have a hard time focusing sometimes getting it. There you go. That only took three hours. So it is um, a really pretty mascara. There was a Gucci rep there and look how beautiful the bottle is. I haven't seen it. Wow, that is gorgeous. I'm not gonna wanna, oh, I ran out of, all right. Okay guys, I ran out of juice. Well, I guess not juice memory. So I got um, another card, I don't know. I think I was talking about um, this under eye powder. So now, I'm so annoying. So I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram, um, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me. I post a ton on there on stories. So I was, bored on Friday or yesterday and I cleaned the shit out of my vanity like I got rid of quite a few things after I was saying like oh I can't like get rid of any blush I actually got rid of like um like a sized bag like this and I'm gonna give it to my housekeeper my my mom doesn't wear makeup so she she misses out I only give her lipsticks and she only wears fuchsia lipsticks and powder that's all she wears but anyway but my housekeeper wears a lot of makeup, so I always give her stuff. Um, so I filled up a bag of, like, powders and all that that I'm going to give her. And then I threw away so much trash. I, like, overhauled this room, okay? Um, but anyway, long story short. And there were so many little things that are like this, like, that are, like, half empty. So I'm like, okay, I, I designated. So I, have, I used to have, or I had a drawer where I put all my new stuff that I need to use and it's like girl if you don't like it it doesn't work for you you need to take it back instead of just keeping it and let it rot in your vanity so I clean that up and I have like a designated area and then I'm doing another I did another little area of like stuff like this that's almost out so I can use up but now I'm like damn like I really like this like and I'm almost out should I buy another one but no there's still quite a bit left I don't know if you can see so I'm gonna try to use it because I have lots of under eye powders but anyway that was a long story just to tell you that I want to buy that powder again <laughs> so anyway I showed you guys this spray and I showed you guys the mascara right Ugh. Gucci I wanted to buy the powder because I loved the packaging so much and I have the bronzer so I was like ooh I'll have a whole set but I was like no I swatched it and it was kind of um, dry so look how beautiful this component is it and it's heavy I'm not gonna open it just because I have a couple mascaras open right now so I don't want to have air touch it if I'm not gonna use it right away and then I just have a couple more things the next thing I got was um, another Gucci blush. I know, I know. I know, don't even tell me. But you know what? I got rid of some, so I had to bring a sucker back in. Look how gorgeous this packaging is. And it was super cool because in my Sephora, they actually have a, a gondola of just Gucci makeup, which I thought was awesome. I wanted to buy one of their matte lipsticks, but I was like, I don't wear matte lipsticks, so... Why am I gonna spend money on it? And this is the color that I got. It's a beautiful peach. And I already have one of these blushes in like a really pink color. Um, but I, I love peach blush. It's my favorite out of everything. But I got that pink one because I was like, okay, I have so much peach blush. I wanna get something different. And then in the end, I still had to get this peach blush because I had been looking at it and looking at it and looking at it. And I wasn't gonna get it. I, I tried it on the store. I swatched it like this on my hand. And I walked around the store and it just has such a pretty sheen. Like it's not glowy, but there's a sheen. And I was like, you know what? Let me get it. Like it's essentially $10 off because it's, um, these are $48. So they're pricey guys, but they are so pretty. Whoever designed the Gucci packaging is, is good. And then just one more thing. The last thing I got was this powder puff. So I've seen a lot of people using powder puffs for their under eyes and I've been wanting to use it. And I know a lot of people order them from Amazon, which I was gonna do, but then I saw this one and I really like Beauty Blender. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy this one. Like I said, I had a gift card, so I only 
I only spent like 80 bucks on this. The rest I paid with my gift cards. So it looks like everything was free. That's that's how I see it. Oh, this is cool. So hmm. This does feel kind of good. And then you put it like this, and then this is supposed to be really good for under your eyes. Sometimes I feel like and I feel like mostly everyone knows this, or at least if you do like your makeup every day, that like you get a different finish whether you use a, a brush or you use a beauty blender. And sometimes I feel like for my under eyes, I do really wanna pack on the powder so I don't crease. So I feel like I'm gonna really like this. And in the bag it looks kind of big, but I feel like it's really like a perfect size. And I like that it has the little, the little piquito, the little triangle, so it can really, go in there so yeah that's my last thing that i got um like i said if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'd love to have you comment down below if you picked up anything on this sale and or if you use any of these products i'd love to know what y'all use and i'll see you guys in the next one bye